So with the chain rule, this lets us solve a new class of problems called related rates problems. And basically, related rates problems are when you have a bunch of variables that are related to each other. And then we want to find out how the variables' rates of change over time are related to each other. So we're going to be differentiating with respect to time in these problems. So as an example, you know, a common type of problem you'll see is you know, water being poured into some type of container. So let's say we have a cone container and water is being poured into the cone at a rate of 50 feet cubed per minute. So we want to know how fast this water level x is rising. So the first thing you have to do in these problems is find some equation that relates your variables. So in, in our case we have a cone and so we know the volume of any cone is 1 third pi radius squared times the height. So and notice we have two cones th that this formula applies to. We have the, the container itself, which is a cone, and then we have the cone of water inside the container, which is increasing in height. So before we differentiate, it would be easier if we could get this down to one independent variable. In other words, either eliminate h or eliminate a. And so in our case, what we want to find is how fast the water level is rising. And you know the water level x is the height of this little cone. So ideally, we want to get rid of this radius term so we can solve for the rate of change of the height. So let's say that we know that this container here the, the radius is equal to one half of the height of this container. And so we can rewrite the vo volume of the container replacing a uh, with one half h as one twelfth pi h cubed. So now this is an one independent variable h. And so, well, if the radius of the container is one half of its height, the same is true for this smaller cone of water the radius is equal to one half the height of this cone of water. So then we can write the volume of this small cone as this, except with instead of h, we have x, the water level. And so now we can differentiate with respect to time to find out the rates of changes of these variables. So since none of these variables are time, then and we're differentiating with respect to time, then we're going to need to use implicit differentiation, which is you know the chain rule. So on this side, we get dv dt. And over here, using the chain rule, this, this is going to be dv dx times dx dt. So dv dx, we, this is just 1 fourth pi x squared. And then we add the dx dt on the end. And so what we wanted originally was how fast the water level is rising, which is dx dt. So all we have to do now is solve for dx dt. And from the, the problem, we know dv dt, which is the rate of change of the volume of the water, because it, it's told us that it's changing at 50 feet cubed per minute. So we can plug in 50 for dv dt, and then we have an expression for the rate of change of the water level at any water level x. So, for example, if we wanted to find how fast the water level is rising when you know, it, the water level is, say, 5 feet tall, then we just plug in 5 for x and we get the rate of change. So, again, the main idea of, the, of these related rates problems is finding some equation to relate your variables and then differentiating with respect to time and then plugging in the values that you know to find out the ones that you want to know. So let's look at one more example. So we have a ladder 10 feet long resting against a vertical wall. So here's the wall and then we're going to draw the ladder like this. And this is 10. So it tells us that the bottom of the ladder is sliding away from the wall at a rate of 1 feet per second. 
so it's going to the right at one foot per second. So we want to know how fast is the top of the ladder sliding down when the bottom of the ladder is six feet from the wall. So the first thing we're going to do is label our variables. So let's call the distance from the wall to the bottom end of the ladder x and this distance along the wall from the you know from the ground to the top of the ladder let's call this y. So next we find an equation to relate our variables. And well this is easy, we can just use the Pythagorean theorem for this right triangle. So we have x squared plus y squared is always equal to ten squared, you know, a hundred. So at this point we can now differentiate with respect to time. So differentiating both sides, here we get two x and then we add the dx dt at the end by the chain rule and then 2y dy dt and the right side is going to be 0 because it's a constant. So now we have to do, so what do we want? We want to find out how fast this is, is dropping which is dy dt. So the first thing we do is plug in unknowns. So it tells us we want to find dy dt when the bottom of the ladder is 6 feet away from the wall, which means x equals 6 at this point. And we also know that dx, dx dt is equal to positive 1 because x is increasing. So plugging in 6 for x and 1 for dx dt, this becomes 12 plus 2y dy dt equals 0. And so now we can find out what y is when x is 6 because you know, the sides are always related by the Pythagorean theorem. So when x is 6, then y squared is going to be 64, or in other words, y is going to be equal to 8. So now we have 12 plus 16 dy dx, dy dt is equal to 0. And now we can just solve for dy dt, which is going to be negative 12 over 16 or negative 3 over 4. So the top of the ladder is falling down the wall at a rate of negative 3 fourth feet per second. And you know this makes sense that it would be negative. That's what we expect because you know, it's falling down so this distance y is decreasing at this moment.